Hey, 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 hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. What's up, guys? We have so much to do today. I'm doing pretty good, Cancer. How are you? How's everybody doing? Skirt! Sorry, that's probably really hot. What's up, Crow? Skirt? You wearing a skirt? Slide in the chat in your skirt. Nice, dude. Let's go. I'm here for it. Um, we got to check on. First things first, right up here we had a... You guys might remember, we had a four-star Bighorn and a four-star Mountain Goat that have aged a little bit since the last time we checked on them. So we got to check on those. And then... Uh, we're gonna go moose hunting and then we're gonna shoot some birds because I finally bought the shotgun And we'll see if maybe we got a. I, I got a feeling we've got a five-star, you know, whether it's a pheasant or a duck or a goose There's got to be a five-star bird on my map somewhere Like I'm almost positive. I've seen so many level fours throughout the time that I've been playing It's a five-star somewhere Maybe we can get our first five-star bird and check that off the list Four horn big stars are pretty cool yeah, yeah, man. Four horn, four horn, big, big, huge star animals. Very mature, very mature. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Hey, Aiden. Hey, Nutbutter, what's up, man? Redneck, how you doing? Hey, Luke. Five star lesser scop. Yeah, I, I think we'll get a f end up getting a five star bird today. Maybe a five star moose too, and maybe even one of these is now a five star. I'm thinking. I'm thinking one of them, there's a good chance one of these is probably a five star now. And then five star bird animals are pretty cool cool too. Five five bird star? <laughs> five birds, all one star. If you get five one stars, that's a, that counts as a five star, right? Same thing, right? Got a five-star wild duck. Nice. That's pretty cool. Mountain goats. Calm. Okay, so there's a mountain goat zone right here. This is not the zone that had the four in it, but... If they don't spook, we'll take a look. Smoking zombies. Oh, dude, I was gonna stream it last night, but I was kind of tired. Um, so I did Fall Guys instead, but I'm gonna hop in solo and just figure everything out. There's a lot to that game, you know? There's a lot to it. I was watching it like a guide yesterday. It looks cool, though. So I'll try to like, get a hang of it, and then we can play it together once I know what I'm doing. If you want to. These are not... Okay, this... That's not... No. The zones we're looking at... Mountain Goat... No, that's wrong. That's the one. Right there. And then that, I believe, is where that Bighorn Zone is. Yeah. Those are the two zones in question. And these guys spooked. There's a four-star mature right there! What? Oh gosh. Four star mature mountain goat right there. Might be the same one. Maybe that's the other zone that is theirs. Let's see how far are they gonna go. Oh, they stopped. Oh, and they're coming right back in. Wow. Wow, what are they doing? What the? What are you doing? Very not safe to be right there. Okay. Four star mature. Okay. Uh, one star adult. Why? Do you not see me? Hi. Hi there. Photo time. It's photo time. 
Hi! Can I just get a quick photo of you, please? Please, thanks. Take all the photo opportunities we can get. Since you don't, there's not a lot of uh, variation in the trophy lodge for, for poses. So, we take these opportunities. But let's see if we can get some cool moving shots. If they're not going to spook, I don't know why they're not spooking. What are you guys doing here? Look at I'm sitting right there. Another one. Huh, that one actually looks decent. One star don't. Wow. Why are they staying there? Because they are not spooking. You guys don't care? This doesn't bother you? You don't know that I'm here? Do you not know? Hello? What the heck? There's the four star mature right there. Wow. I think we've got two. This zone is quite far away from that one up there. I think there's two of them here. Yeah, I'm just gonna spook them. We gotta get moving. We'll let that guy grow. The water's messing with their pathy. Eh? Could be. There is a zone right here, though. Yeah. They are right on the zone. Okay, let them get the heck out of here. Check on these other big boys. Then we're gonna hunt some mooses. Hey, Jan, how's it going? Is there a way to increase? Increase a herd's population? What do you mean, duck? Best start up solo, then have people join. Yeah, for sure. Just learn the game. Do I have a moose guide, duck? Uh, not in Way of the Hunter. Do you, would you like one? I can do one right now for you. I watched, I've watched a couple of moose guides on Way of the Hunter, and for the most part, they're just... Clickbait? If I can, can I say that? They're clickbait. Um, because... The moose guide part of every moose guide I've watched, moose guide or like hotspot guide, there there isn't hotspots because it's the way the hunter. There there's home ranges. It's not called the wild. There's no hotspots, but there 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 are locations. Now I can do a moose guide right now if you guys want. It'll take me about 15 seconds. Would you guys like a moose guide? I, I can save you 15 minutes. All right, check it out. Here's your moose guide. <laughs> Here it comes. You ready? Hunt all the way up here. All the way up. I haven't even gone all the way up. And then work your way over to these wetlands here. So basically, it forms the shape of a seven. Hunt all of that. Done. Just We just did a moose guide. We did it live. And uh, that's private land. You're going to want to open it up. Either by buying the permit or by doing the, the missions at that outpost. That lives in that area. Safety was 15 minutes on car insurance. Oh, car insurance. Did she beast man? Cool. Well, that's your moose guide. That's it. That's all you can really do for a moose guide in Way of the Hunter. Hunt here. Op open up the, the, the private lands. 
Um, I actually, I actually still have to open that up. We might have to do that today. Huh, I thought I had that open. Only talking geckos can do that. That's true. I'm not lizard enough, or am I? But, yeah. Anywho. For example, I've only got three moose in this herd. I was wondering if there's any way to get more animals in that herd. Not that I know of, duck. If you shoot one, it'll respawn as another one. I don't think you can, like, add animals to a herd, though. Not that I know of. Um, and if you could, that'd be kind of weird, right? There's the four-star mature. Okay, so that bighorn's still a four-star. Gosh, I feel like we got multiple four-stars around here. I, I don't... Honestly, I think that's a different one. <laughs> I don't think that's the same one. Hey, Flamingo, what's up? Shooting only males is supposed to increase your map's population over time. But they never specify specified how it would be apparent. Yeah, which is kind of nice. I like not knowing everything. Gives it that realistic feel. Southern Rabble, how's it going? I'm doing good, how are you? Welcome, everybody. Oh. Mm, what was that? Mountain goats? Big horn over there. Okay. Ah, they're in the bushes. Two star mature. Get up on this hill a little bit. Hey Jake, what's up, man? Been a couple days since I can make a live stream. Watch the Croc Roadier vid. That was a big row. Hey, nice. Thanks for watching, Jake. Yeah, that was a fun one, dude. Love seeing the big road here. So we got a four star in there. And then what is this herd? Two star. Well, we've got at least one of each. Anyway, four stars. Big horn and mountain goat. I think there's even more, though. Okay, so for moose, what the heck, man? I gotta open that up still? I could have sworn I unlocked that. Let's go over there. Sika? I've never done a Sika grind before, Jake. I think you mean musk. Melanistic musk deer? No, that's probably gonna take a while. Haven't gotten it yet. Hey, Davis. We're just getting started, man. We've got a four-star mountain goat and a four-star bighorn on the map. They still haven't changed. I gotta see what these missions are. Have I started these missions? What's going on here? It's got to be this one. See what's left of Ruiz's is happy place and the decorations he placed. Okay. Okay, let's track that. I gotta go up there. All right, let's just do it. Let's get it done. What's up with the, with the green main tag, Robert? Hey, man. What's up, dude? Green name green name tag. What green name tag? These missions are so much fun. These ones are fun. Good. 
I like fun missions. Hopefully they don't take too long. AE, what's going on, man? Sort of came away from Call of the Wild since this came out. I need a big update from Call of the Wild to make me play it again. And like how Crow said, a true, uh, proper true rack system would be amazing. Yeah, for sure. This they're gonna definitely be adding stuff like that to this game. Absolutely, it's gonna get it's gonna get really really good. Your name was Blue Robert, not in my stream. <laughs> I believe you were a mod for CJO. You've never been a mod here, man. We could we could probably talk about that though. Okay, I gotta get... Is that like a road that I can take? Oh boy. Yeah, Robert, you're, you're modding CJOs though, I know that. Running at what FPS? I'm capped at 60 for my monitor. I gotta upgrade my monitor. But I run pretty much everything at a steady 60. Which I'm totally fine with. But I know once I upgrade I'm gonna be like, holy crap. But I'm used to the, I'm used to the 60. You have to search the area, then find static signs of the species in the swamp. Then shoot a two-star or better moose. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Favorite animal on Nez Purse? Um probably the elk. I haven't gotten a big elk yet. All right, first hunt today, Wave the Hunter in full-blown rain and thunder. It was amazing, the visuals and the sound. Isn't it crazy, Robert? It's so immersive, it's so fun. And dead. All right, here we go. We need that Jeep upgrade. This thing's got no oomph. Yeah, you should, AE. It's a lot of fun. Hey, Warren. You haven't missed anything. How you doing? Yeah, I think I did the first one. I think I've only got two missions left. I'm guessing that the shooting the moose one is probably the last one. Which way do I have to go here? Yo, Cancer, three months, let's go. Appreciate that, Cancer. Caitlin, what's up? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you, Kayla? How's work? Hmm, I wonder if this is a campsite up here. Could be, could be. Hmm, very likely could be a campsite, actually. Just go run up there. We got wolves somewhere. Spooks. Darn. Busy last Tuesday at work. Oh, good, Kaylin. That's awesome. It is a campsite. Let's go. Love it. <laughs> After speaking animals, will they typically come back or, or not always? They don't really typically do anything. They're more realistic than it's not like called a while. Sometimes they'll come back, sometimes they'll just keep going. Sometimes they spook not very far, sometimes they spook and they just seem to go forever. <laughs> I 
and never turn back. Can't really predict it. Which is really nice. Hey, Sinaldo. Imagine when rares are in the game, hope they make them ultra rare. I hope so too, Sinaldo. Yeah, that's gonna generate tons of hype. For Way of the Hunter. It's like the main thing they need right now. Rares and non-typicals will just like... Skyrocket the popularity. Okay, we need to get over this way. I go off road a little bit. Whoopsie daisy. That's a one star adult right there. Wow. What a stud. Two of them. already read that. Just put four shots into a mule deer. And he just didn't care, Luke. Oh, no. Flesh wounds. Okay, hang on a second. Let's see what's left in Rose's half close. Okay, it's back this way. This area is really good for moose, I know, Robert. I thought I had this unlocked. I really did. I was sure I did. But there's a lot of area I still haven't hunted moose. So, hopefully there's a giant on the map. Hey, Coleman, welcome. Any tips for Transylvania? You've yet to discover anything on there? Uh, not really, Duck. I haven't spent too much time on there. It's quite a bit different than Purse. It's a much harder to find animals, in my experience. I would just go there and start hunting, man. Figure, you know, enjoy the process, right? You don't need tips. You've played hunting games. I would just go there and start exploring and enjoy that. That's part of the fun, right? Mission complete. That's simple. Okay. Am I going to go trick or treat? Nah. No. <laughs> I'll probably go to a Halloween party. That's that's about it. Trick or treating, wow. Do you guys still go trick or treating on Halloween? Left of the views, big marsh, top middle of the map, really good for me. So yeah, that wetlands up there. We're gonna be checking that out for sure. Never too old. That's not true. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one year I'll, I'll go trick or treating. Just wear like a mask. Um, okay, I don't care what that says. Harvest a moose with a trophy of two stars or more. Okay, I can do that. Two stars or more, huh? Time is it? 10, 11. Okay. Any moose in this area. Two stars or more. <clears throat> Where are the mooses? You can just go go by yourself, Cancer, and make friends along the way. That's what Hall Halloween's so good for us. People everywhere. Dress up to hand out candy. Yeah, that's fun. I would do that if I handed out candy. Uh, candy, but I live in an apartment. High up in an apartment, so I don't do that. Not a thing.
You love this webcam more than the one from before. Oh, thanks, Sinaldo. I think it's better, yeah. I like it too. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. But I definitely like it better. Come on, I just want to get this mission done. I'm going to be a little bit cringy. I just want to get this done. Okay, there's moose over there. Let's see what those are. I would love to hand okay. Like, I'm looking forward to that in the future. In the future, like, after I buy a house. I'll definitely do... Oh, come on. Hopefully that's two star plus. I'll definitely, like... Do like spooky decorations and stuff and try to scare kids. And no candy. I'd totally be into that. Two star mature, let's go. That's our boy. That's our boy right there. One star adult. Hopefully we get an angle here. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Hi, how are you? You must die. We must complete our mission and you must be sacrificed for that. You know something's up. I know something's up. 158. Oh no, don't move. Alright, we'll take the quartering away shot. Oh. Okay, that's not bad at all. Should be good. Take another shot if I use if you use them. Beautiful. And he's stuck. Come on, go down, go down, go down. That one star adult is a, an absolute beast. So oh, come on, down you go. Can I shoot him again? Did I not get a vital? Come on. How are you still up? What in the world? Did I hit the bridge? How are you not dead? What? Is he just shrugging that off? At least one of those was 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 a lung shot, if not both. It's unbelievable. What the heck? Yeah, Beacon. I haven't tried a lot of quartering shots, to be honest. I mean, the follow-up was centered broadside.
Blood? I don't even see blood. I don't even see blood. What the heck? What happened? <laughs> this is a first. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I don't know. I don't see any blood. Oh, there's blood. Looks pretty red, though. I would love to see where, uh, where it registered those hitting. Very curious. Red, small amount of blood. I freaking crushed that, that thing. That's insane. Okay, he's not gonna—he's not gonna die, I don't think. Hey, bow fishing, how's it going? PC, nice. That's exciting. Yeah, I don't think that guy's gonna go down from that. That's uh, that's crazy. Now we can go what's over there. That's really weird. No dead moose. We hit him at least twice. That's a first for me, guys. I haven't experienced that in this game. For the record. Anyway. Alright. Drink zone this way. Hey! Four-star mature. Right there. Two-star mature. Yeah, there's going to be some big birds on the map. Definitely. Oh, more that way. Oh, goose is that way. Oh, there they are. One star, one star. I haven't even shot a goose yet. I don't have the shotgun on me right now, though. But yeah, we'll be coming back to the birds. I want to hunt some moose for uh, first. The duck's pretty loud, yeah. Oh, can I not get across that? Wow. Okay, Caitlin, sounds good. Speaking of Halloween, there's a Marvel special coming out called Werewolf by Night. Ooh, hopefully it's a good one. Werewolf by Night, huh? Interesting, right in time for, I guess, Halloween's coming up, yeah. Three star, one star. Star 
bunch of one stars, two star. Come on, mooses. What in the heck? What in the heck? Those are uncommon, Tyler. Uncommon. Have you seen the animation when you walk into deep water? Um, like the player animation? I don't think so. Like in multiplayer, you mean? I don't think I have seen it. There go the goats. There goes the goats. Wait, I can't even harvest mooses up here. I have to go down to here. Yeah, we have to keep going south. I wouldn't be able to harvest up there. Come on, mooses. I'm just gonna do it, I don't even care. We need to complete this mission. I don't see anything up there other than those goats. Oh, look at all the gooses. Oh, you can, Beacon? Okay. Gotcha. Well, let's continue this way anyway. Got stuck in a set of rocks on the west side of the map during a mission beacon. Sorry to hear that. I've never gotten stuck in rocks before in the game. Wild ducks. Four star mature. Got my cup of tea, came back with a bowl of cereal. <laughs> nice, Robert. <laughs> what happened to Rocket League? What do you mean? I think Rocket League's still a thing. I think it's still out there. Do you mean what happened to me playing it? I just haven't played it in a while. Wish I could play this game more, but it won't let me fast travel to any of my outposts. It keeps crashing, Travis. Oh, that's no good. Have you contacted support? I've never heard of that bug. Hey Ty, welcome in. Good to see ya. Okay, there's a moose. Come on. Tell me there's a big enough male over there for the mission. I'm over it, I'm over it. That guy just by himself? That's different. Let's see. Let's see. I think he's alone. 
heck is that all about? Whoa, that was weird. Let's get on the bridge over here. Special comes out on October 7th scale. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to, man. What's special? Oh, Werewolf by Night scale. Gotcha. That's cool. I'll definitely check it out. Spooky. I guess there was more there in that herd. I think there's another herd down a little bit further, though. This hill a little bit. Did you see the Winnie the Pooh horn movie coming out? I heard about it. <laughs> it looks absolutely terrible. It's pretty funny. I mean, we should already be done this with that first one we shot. Domain movies, yeah, totally, totally. Too hard to get a two star or a better moose. I mean, we already technically got one. This is why I don't like doing the missions live. It can be real slow. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh just went into the public domain because it's old enough now that it's gone into the public domain. So, typically, when that happens, um, people will like um, capitalize on it and. Make like spoof movies and stuff. So yeah, someone's making like a Winnie the Pooh slasher film. And it looks very bad. My goodness. No moose. No moose. Moose? What is this? A moose. Oh gosh. 
Just found your first herd of elk beacon. Nice. Careful with the elk. They spook very, very easily. Super, super sensitive. Alright, let's try down here. Ouch. Ducks down there. It's called blood and honey. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so bad. AE, see you later, man. Yeah, the bears are pretty much anytime I ever see bears, it's when they're spooking. Very sensitive. So we got ducks down there. What's up with the 20 meter interval? 20 meter interval for distance. I'm not sure what that means, Luke. 20 meter interval for distance? Hey Jacob, what's up man? In Way of the Hunter, will you have a greater chance of an animal growing if they are an adult or if they are a mature? Uh, it depends from animal to animal. You won't really know, right? All the animals grow until they die. They all grow at different rates. They will all grow to different sizes depending on their genetics. It's more realistic than that, right? Not every animal is the same. An adult might grow into... I mean, they all, they all become mature. Some of them will go from, you know, some of them will die at one star mature if the genetics are terrible. Some of them, if they have good genetics, they'll go right up to five stars. Ducks. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Hey, Pop, how's it going? Like in the Hunter Sense, it says distance 180 to 200. I don't see that. I don't know what you're talking about, Luke. <laughs> in the hunter sense, it says 180 to 200 meters. I'm in hunter sense. Where does it say that? There's no reason not to take a, a five star on site. But the only reason would be if you have a reason. <laughs> it's up to you. That's going to depend from person to person. I can see people maybe seeing a five star and based on their experience, maybe thinking it's a, sm a small five star. And maybe you think it looks really young still, and you might be able to grow it bigger. I can definitely see people trying to grow five stars as big as they can possibly get them. And taking the risk by doing that. Absolutely. It's totally up to you. When you spot something, it says 180 to 200 meters when I spot something. Um, I'll check next time I spot something. Not sure what you're referring to, my man. Moose tracks. Here we go. Hey, Jake, coming in with the membership. Thank you very much, Jake. 
Much appreciated, man. Another green name in the chat. It's a good looking bull. Three star mature. That'll do the trick. It's a very good bull. That's a very good bull. Now, will the shots register this time? Terrible wind. Hey Thomas, I'm good, how are you? Gotta move to the right. If we can get to 150. Ooh, we got a deer stand right there. That might be that might be the ticket right there. Might just be the way to do it. Hop in that tree stand. That'll probably get us to like 160 out. Hey Jonathan, how are you? Diamond Gator and a Diamond rein Reindeer today? Nice, man. Congrats. What? Did they spook? No, they're over there. Alright, that's our guy right there. Stop moving. Come on, give me a turn. It's a good hit. It's another good hit. Come on. There you go. That's it. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Apparently it'll still count for the mission even though we're on private land. Because this uh, this mission actually unlocks the land, so it would make sense if it counted. Whoops. Hey, Spicy. Lost them um, widget today. Server closed, so I can be able to grab them. The server closed? Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that, Spicy. <laughs> What gun is that? Uh, the 300. I'm using the 300 for the moose. McCheesy, what's up, man? Hey, Kaylin, welcome back. This guy might have gone up and gone a little further. Nope, still there. Definitely dead. Lesser scops.
All right, big moose. Biggest moose I've shot, actually. Big three-star mature. Ah. Beacon, what are, you, what are you doing to me, man? He said it would count. <sighs> Alright. Now I'm getting annoyed. I kind of want to just maybe just hunt some birds now. He said you did it and you picked one up, Beacon. You're making that up? Why would you do that? <laughs> No reason to do that. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Let's just go hunt some birds. We'll hunt moose next time. Let's go on a bird hunt. It let you on yours? Well, no, I wouldn't have. It wouldn't have let you on yours. It's all good. It's all good, man. Let's grab our shotgun. Semi-auto 20 gauge. Like it. Um, now do we need a site for this? I didn't buy a site. I think there is like a dot site. Yeah, there's a couple couple dot sites here. I don't know what the difference is. One times low, one times low. Red dot zoom. I don't think there's any zoom on that. I don't know why it says red dot zoom. It's just a hollow site. Or this one's a hollow. That's a red dot. That's what it is. Hmm, I don't know if it's worth it. I feel like I could just use the iron sights. Let's see. Oh, is there no iron sight on this thing? Oh, yeah, no. Let's get the dot. Let's get the dot. Let's get that one, I think. Actually, we'll get the nice one. We'll get the nice one. Might as well. We might as well. Storage. Nice. Alright, let's reset the time. To morning. To the morning. It's all good, Beacon. It's all good. Alright, let's go look at some pheasants. Heck yeah, Walter. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. We are going to do a little bit of a bird hunt here. You got the day off today, Walter. That's awesome. Always round it up in intervals of 50 so the animals could be a lot closer than it says. They're going to slash already did change it to 20 meter intervals. Yeah, I'm not sure what the intervals are that you guys are talking about. I'll have to... I need to look at that. There's pheasants. Oh, it's like when it says how far away they are. Yeah, they changed that. Yeah, it used to, yeah, it used to say like that would say 100 to 150. So that's I mean it's self-explanatory though what that is, right? Distance 100 to 120. It's uh estimating the distance away that that animal is cuz obviously you wouldn't know exactly how far away that animal is, but you you might know that it's 100 to 120 meters away. Luke. Yeah, that's what that is, man. Yep. 
It's exactly what you would, th you would think it is. It's all it is. But yeah, I didn't actually know notice they changed that. That would normally that would have said 100 to 150, so they changed that. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it better. A male pheasant in there. Somewhere. You. Oh, you're right here. One star young. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Five star mature right in front of us. <laughs> right there. I think that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> what the heck? That was fast. Uh. Uh, did I get the right one? Five star. Okay. Well, that was quick. That happened literally instantly. <laughs> 468. 88% genetics. Wow. All flesh hits. Sheesh. Okay. Let's go. Five star pheasant. Take it off the list. Star. Let's see if we can get another five star bird today. I would love to get a double. Double five star. Double five star birds. So that's the pheasant out of the way. I, I say we travel up. See how we can do for ducks, geese. Yeah, just a few, Caitlin. Transylvania have pheasants too? Never seen a pheasant in Transylvania. Crazy, that's awesome. Shotgun sounds nice, I like it. You got your five star pheasant on Transylvania cancer. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't seen them there yet. I 
probably would have been pretty shocked if I just randomly saw one. Ever had pheasant noodle soup before? I don't think I've ever had pheasant before. Not that I can remember. Hey Mason, welcome. Died because he was frightened by the sound of the gun. Maybe, yeah. Sometimes it's all it takes. <laughs> Can you explain how to make a bad herd into producing four and five starts? Yeah, shoot the, the animals with the bad genetics. So the old animals that are like one and two star and three star. Shoot those. Keep the adult ones. If you've got like an adult one star, you could probably shoot that. But anything like adult two star and up, you don't know how big that's going to get, right? That could even turn into a five. Adult three star, don't kill those. But shoot your... I would shoot all the matures, like one, two, and three star. If you've got a mature four star, let it grow. It might turn into a five. But yeah, you're just removing the bad genetics and then letting it respawn into hopefully better genetics. Super simple uh, principle to it. Very, very easy to understand, which I really like. Where am I on the map? I'm right, right there. Uh, and I also have a beginner's guide where I talk about all that stuff too. If you haven't seen it, you can check that out. When will the next Call of the Wild stream be? Uh, probably going to do one tomorrow. 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 Thank you, Walter. I appreciate that, man. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. It's close. Speaking of pheasants on Transylvania, just spotted a three-star adult. Nice. Let that thing grow. Let that one grow. Woo! Wolves? Wolves. If we have wolves. We have some wolves. American Black Bear drinking. I would love to get a diamond, a uh, five-star goose, I mean, right now, to go with our pheasant today. That's the one I want the most. Of the waterfowl. I want that. I want that five-star goose. Five-star badger? We got one of those. We got the American badger. Fifty likes. Are we not at fifty likes yet? Oh my gosh! What are you guys doing? <laughs> Holy! It's so easy to just click that like button, and it does help so much. So I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. That's all I ask. Please and thanks. <laughs> thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Robert. Alright, we're getting up there. Nicholas coming in with the sub. Thank you for subscribing, Nicholas. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Is there a bit of breeding involved? Like not not literally. Like that's the that's the idea. But the animals don't, like, they don't go into the forest and actually mate. Like, <laughs> but that's, like, the, the idea, right? Is it's meant to be based on, like, a real-life thing. But, yeah, you won't see animals uh, mating in the game. It's just respawns.
Yeah, Robert, I do have a couple zones. Got a couple zones. Right on top of a zone, and there's one up there. Uh, Owen, how's it going? Can you have a birthday wish? Well, happy birthday, man. Happy friggin' birthday to you. Hope you have a great day today. Wait for rares to be added the game will make it more exciting, I think. Like it is when you see rare called a wild. Yeah, Robert, totally. That's gonna get a lot more people interested too. The people that aren't uh, convinced yet with Way of the Hunter. Rares will bring a lot more people in, and non-typicals probably even more. Well, I stream on December 11th, Bradley. I stream every day, so probably I take the odd day off, but it's I don't have a schedule for for December yet, Bradley. But I stream every day. Changed my difficulty to the easiest setting. Now I'm enjoying playing a lot more. Oh, nice, Justin. That's cool. Right on, man. As long as you're having fun, it's all that matters, right? Nothing over there either. All right, let's get up to these waterfowl. Let's see what we got. White tail. Oh, it's not moose strength time yet, is it? It's just nine now. We're just a little bit too early. So if you have a brand new herd of sheep and they're all one star young, would you call any... No, you don't shoot the one star youngs. You, don't have, you have no idea what those are. What their genetics are. Don't shoot the one star youngs. One star youngs could have 10% genetics, they could have 99. Just leave the one star youngs. That's how you proceed with that if you're trying to if you're trying to get five stars. Um it's really like it, 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 you can overcomplicate it if you want to. It's just it's really just as simple as um like what I said before. Um every animal has genetics. A, a genetics percentage out of 100 that they have from the time that they are spawned into your map. It doesn't change. So when the animals are one star young, you have no there's no way to tell what that's going to turn into, right? What what that's going to, if it's going to grow huge or if it's going to be a small one star mature. So don't overcomplicate it. That's all there is to it. When the animals respawn, they are going to be a one star young. And they will have a genetics percentage that you will you won't know until you let them grow a little bit. Hey Brighton, I'm doing good, man. How are you? We got a five star pheasant so far. Heading up to do a little waterfowl hunting. See if we might have another five to go with our pheasant. You know if they respawn as soon as you shoot them. Um yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how many seconds it takes for another one to respawn or if the game needs to be restarted, but that's essentially the idea, yeah. Every time you take an animal off your map, you get a new one. Um, but, but that's part of the fun, right? Is just kind of learning this stuff as you go. That's what I did. Nobody told me, really, other than what we've heard from the developers. That's part of the fun. So I would just, you know, I would really suggest just going out and kind of learning some of the stuff on your own too and experiencing the game rather than having someone tell you that's part of the fun i think but yeah it's just as simple as that every animal has uh, a genetics rating and based on that they will 
grow to a certain size. Um, the better the genetics as a collective for uh, a population of species on your map, the better chance that your respawns will be better animals, bigger, better genetic animals. Just like in real life. Moose trying to come in. Spooked him. Do I ever play off camera? If I'm recording a video, yeah. There's a four star scop in there. Holy. Not quite big enough. But that's a big one. We shall let it grow. We shall let it grow. So if you have a five-star mature in a herd, does that mean the other bucks are going to be good genetics? Wow, I don't know how I can explain it any more simpler than that. Um, a five-star, like if I have a five-star on my map right now, that doesn't affect the other animals at all. The other animals are their own animals. They've already they've already spawned on the map, right? I don't know what you guys aren't understanding me. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it, like it's. Don't know. You guys are overcomplicating it. You don't have to do that. It's a really, really simple system, which is really nice. Um, you got a monster five star elk pay nice, dude. So if you have a five star mature in a herd, does that mean the other bucks are going to be good genetics? Not necessarily, no. That just means that you have a a big a big buck in that herd. The other animals could be anything. But like I said, if you're going through and you're culling your herds and you're taking out the bad genetics, think of it this way. Every animal has a rating out of 100%, right? We talked about that. Every animal has a genetics rating. It could be 4%, it could be 99%, or anywhere in between. So essentially, if you think of it as, you know, your, your entire population, essentially, then, if you took every animal and we made a, like, basically, if you could see all of your animals of a certain population, Right? Say, let's say all your moose. If we could see all of your moose on your map in a list and all their genetics, we could come up with a percentage for your entire population, couldn't we? Right? So you essentially have a percentage, not only for every animal, but your entire population would essentially have a percentage too. So you're working on getting that percentage up. And the way to do that is to shoot the low genetics and have them respond as higher genetics and have that collective percentage be higher. Right? That's all there is to it. That's it. It's super, super simple. And it's really nice. It's like... I know it's all... Everything's super complicated with the Call of the Wild. We've gotten so used to that. Nobody knows what the heck's going on or how the system works. But that's not the case in this game. It's very simple. Love it when you speak red and you're 273 yards away when crouched. Yeah, I've never really had that with um, with red deer. The elk tend to do that. Got scop over there. And we got scop over here. That was not how it was explained in the drop trailer. Well, there's more than one way to explain things, but in my, from my understanding, that's that's how everything works. I'm not a, I'm not a developer, right? I'm not going to be able to explain it to you the way the developers of the game, the, the people that literally created the game, can can explain it. But from what I understand, from what I've been told by the developers, from what they've told uh, all of us in the trailers and such, that's how it works. But yeah, I'm not a developer. If, if you guys want to hear stuff from the developers, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> so if you kill predator animals, for example, example wolves, does that mean you're going to have more deer slash prey on your map? No, spicy. No. Not, not to my understanding.
Gotcha, Demon Dog. Gotcha. Like I said, I'm not a developer. I'm not here to speak for the developers or for... You know what I mean? I'm a content creator. So I understand things based on what I've learned. And uh, what I'm saying is coming from me only. It's not coming from the devs. Right? <laughs> obviously. Uh, Justin, what would be the main thing you would add or change this game? Oh, well, obviously I would add rares and uh, not typicals. Um, something I would change? I don't think I would really... I would change the models for the, the ducks. <laughs> I'm sure that will be tweaked eventually, though. I wouldn't change very much. For a brand new game, uh, it's pretty stunning what they've done. Uh, I would also add bows, but they're going to be adding all these things eventually, so... The things that I would add are, are definitely going to be added. So... Yeah, the predators respawn just like everything else, as far as I know. I think I'm pretty sure every species kind of relies on that same system. Wild ducks. You don't have the game, Brighton? What's the hardest animal to hunt? Uh, elk spook really easily. I don't know if it's intended, but yeah, for me it's elk. Because they sp you can't even get near them. They just spook like crazy. Five star. Five star duck. Two. On iPad, can someone send me the link to join as a member? Walter, can we get the member... Um, the member command? Anybody? Please and thanks. Appreciate it, Walter. Thanks, Kayla. What happens to the herd if an animal dies to old age? It respawns. Any animal that dies, whether you kill it or it dies from like natural causes, will respawn into another animal. And it just disappears. It doesn't. It doesn't lay dead on your map. Otherwise, eventually your map would just be full of dead animal carcasses. So, yeah, they just disappear and respawn into something. New. And what they respawn as, like I said, will depend on the genetics of that species that is currently on your map. So that's why you want to be shooting, getting rid of the the poor genetics. You want good genetics animals on your map to respawn better ones. As far as I understand it. Male bear, difficult as there are so few of them. Yeah, the bears are tough. The bears are really tough. I've only, I've only seen a handful. They add horses. They should have different personalities like hot-headed or calm. That'd be cool, yeah. I see some geese. One star mature. So, I mean, technically, I mean, we should be shooting some of these old bad genetic ones, but looking for a five at the moment. I don't want to spook everything. The photo mode is fun, Justin. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm trying to find the Grey Wolf challenge. I'm not sure, Daniel. I'm not sure where that is. I haven't done it.
Wild Ducks, two star mature. Holy. Bronze Goat, what's up? Welcome. Can you sync Streamlabs with YouTube for Xbox? You can get a capture card. That's how I do it. Uh, sync Streamlabs with YouTube. Not sure exactly what the question is, McCheesy. But I would, uh, you can look that up. Google's your best friend there. And YouTube. There's tutorials on all, all of that stuff. I just use a capture card. I've got my... Xbox connected to my PC with a capture card. All the wild ducks. Give up on a four-star badger? Oh, don't shoot a four-star badger, Mike. Or a four-star bear. Uh, you don't want to shoot... If you want five stars, you, you don't want to be shooting the four stars. You want to try to... You want to let those four stars grow. And see if they turn into a five. Ah, uh, it's part of the mission. Oh, that, well, that's different. <laughs> gotcha, Mike. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah, Demon Dog, exactly. That is a good question. And it's nice that we don't know exactly, right? Because uh, it keeps it realistic that way. But yeah, it's pretty cool to think like how far, like how, how much can you grow animals after they turn into a five star before they die? It's interesting to think about. Walter coming in with a membership. Thank you very much, Walter. Appreciate that, man. Welcome to the Kill Clan, man. Shot anything nice. We got a five-star pheasant so far. First one. Now we're looking for a duck or a goose to go with it. Have you done much for the other map? Have I have I hunted the other map, map much? I have a little bit. I got a five star red deer off of it. How are the boars? The boars are abundant. There's lots of them. They look really nice. Up to 52 likes. Yeah, a little lower than we're used to, but it's all good. <laughs> Oh, good. Appreciate you guys for doing that. There's some gooses. There's a one star in there. Hmm. One star. Five star. No way. <laughs> Holy. That's amazing. There's a five star goose. Right over here. Unbelievable. Holy. What luck. Let's go. Let's get over there. Get this guy down with the shotgun. I think we can get up to that ridge across the river without spooking them. I think that's fine. You can usually get pretty close. 120 to 140 away. Good wind.
What food snack can you get in the States that you can't get in Canada that you enjoy? Um, I don't know. Because, well, I mean, you guys have a lot of fast food that we don't have. That's probably the main thing. Alright, where are they? Right down in here. 60 to 80 meters. They're right down. Right down in there. Where's the five? Still calm. I can't quite see them. This way. Oh, they're over that way too. Okay, here we here we go. Where's the five? Right there, right there. That's our guy. He's right in that bush. Don't want you to be in that bush. more of them. Big flock. It's right there. I have to swivel out to the right a little bit. Let's see if we can get a look. 60, about 60 meters. I want to get quite a bit closer than that. Where has he gone? How the heck am I going to see this guy? I think I might have to go all the way around. He's right in these bushes. Come on, don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, I can kind of see them over here. Deer stand right here would have been perfect. Friggin' spot and stock on a goose. That's a first. Never done that before. Would we be seeing any KC planet soon? Yeah. Yep. Um, can't really give you a timeline of when, but it's coming back. It's definitely coming back. How many hours are you in real life? What do you mean in real life, demon? How many hours have I been alive? Well, I'm 38. <laughs> How many hours am I in IRL? Um, the IRL part's messing me up. How many hours have I played Way the Hunter? Hey, Harley, welcome in. Hey, Jade. Oh, we're doing great. We got a five-star goose here. I'm trying to stock up on him. He's, up in a, he's in a bush. And we already got a five-star pheasant today. right in this friggin' bush somewhere. Can't find him.
Why you guys gotta be in the bush? I'm just gonna keep circling it until we can see him. Spawn stock on a goose. Never done that before. It's going to be way the hunter KC Planet, yeah. KC Planet Season 2. Season 1 ended prematurely because way the hunter came out. This game makes way more sense for KC Planet. So I've just got a, quite a bit of preparing to do. I've got to come up with cinematics that I will be using photo mode for and get that all put together. So it's going to take quite a bit longer for way of the hunter episodes because I will have to do the you know, the different cinematics, depending on what species we're covering. And those can take quite a while because you got to get real close. And yeah, so, but it's coming. It is definitely coming. It's going to be a thing. There's the five star right in there. It's going to be really challenging having me in that bush because they keep moving around. Let's see. I can't currently even see him, but he's like... Oh, he's, he's moving still. Like, this is going to be so difficult. I got to get over this side. I got to get up here, like, on that hill. It's probably going to be the way to do it. A little bit worried about that wind, though. Yeah, Chip. Uh, I don't think that's even possible, though. I don't think they can die, because like, they, they're not aging in real time. As far as I know. They age when you uh, change the time. Okay, now where has he gone to? Five-star goose, yep. To go with our five-star pheasant that we got earlier. He's in he's in a bush somewhere. This wind is gonna get bad. Oh come on, why can't you just be one of those two? Those were in the those they're in perfect position, those two. Our guy is in the bushes. If I can just get up on this hill, like right up here, without that wind being an issue, we might be able to see him. Wild ducks here, too. Oh, they're 240 meters out. All right, well, I'm in the trees now. But I need to get up on this hill. There we go. This is what we need right here. This should do the trick. All right, now where are you? Where are you? You're in there. My gosh. This is one of the one of the trickier hunts I've done so far in this game. Where's he gone to? Wait. Come on, man. Where are you? Where am I 
up here. Oh, I don't know. He's in here somewhere. Tell you right now, in real life, geese are not this restless. They just kind of chill. <laughs> they just kind of hang out. He's right there. They just kind of sit around and hang out. So what, he's over on that side now, where I needed him to be before? My gosh. Terrible. Okay. Okay, move through here. Yeah, that, that works. Let's see. Zero this for... Oh, I can only zero it for 25, okay. Coming through. Which one, which one, which one? Right, oh gosh, I don't know which one he is. He's one of those two. No way to tell. But he should come right through here. If he's following them. That's gonna be our shot. Come on through. No need to stop. There we go. Come on. No. What? No. Oh my... What? Dude, this is this is not how geese behave. <laughs> He's right there. Oh, pff, I can't see anything. No, no shot. Right there. I don't think I got him. Right there. Where are you going? Coming back? Pretty sure that was the right one. <laughs> did we just actually did that just happen? Did I shoot the right one? No way. Wait, hunt rating four. That was the right one. Wow. That is, like, the coolest thing I've ever done. Hunt rating only four, though. Why? Am I not supposed to use a shotgun on... Oh, because I hit it twice. I hit it... I did hit it that first time. Huh, that's crazy. I smoked it with that first shot. And that didn't take it down somehow. Second shot, absolutely, like, that's like, wow. Wow. Crazy. I'm surprised that first shot wasn't enough. Like, that's a lot of pellets. We'll take it. That's an insane way to get a five-star goose. <laughs> Pretty epic. Let's go, 482. 95% genetics. That's a nice goose. Taxi that. Woo! 
It's my first goose that I've shot. It's insane. I'm kind. I'm kind of glad I didn't kill him. Though spicy, we got to get. We got to pick him off out of the air like that. That was epic. You can get that shotgun tonight. Yeah, it's a good. I mean, my first two kills with it are five stars. <laughs> need that five star moose. We definitely do. Amy, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? Good to see ya. We got a couple five stars today. We got a pheasant and a goose. Hey, Ty, what's up, man? Not seeing any ducks up here. Oh. I heard something. Finer than frog hair, just got a diamond blacktail on Call of the Wild. That makes 20 so far overall. Nice! Blacktail's a fun one to get. Especially the first one. Congrats. Fantastic. Where are these sounds coming from? Chilling with your morning coffee, join to see the five star goose. Oh, nice, Ty. Heck yeah, yeah, we got a couple new uh, five star animals today. Fe uh, pheasant and goose. Must have fixed that gun. It was bugged and shot a foot or two right before. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that ship. Yeah, it seemed seemed on target for me. For those couple shots, anyway. And for the pheasant. Have I tried the angler? Yeah, I've been I've been streaming it. I've streamed it a bunch. I mean, it made a bunch of a, well, a handful of videos on it. I mean, yeah, I really enjoy it. I really like it. And we've been streaming it with Scarecrow too, which has been a ton of fun. Multiplayer is a lot of fun in, in the angler. Hey, Torque, welcome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this game's gonna be... It's gonna be something special, that's for sure. I mean, it already is, but... You put rares and non-typicals in this game, it's gonna be wild. All good, Amy. It's good to see you. Between work and house stuff. Yeah, I get... I totally get that. Good to see you. Glad to hear you're playing Call of the Wild.
All right, I think I might actually wrap this one up here, you guys. Uh, and then I'm most likely going to be live again tonight over on Twitch. And uh, yeah, check out the videos if you haven't already seen them. Pretty fire video from yesterday. If you missed it, check it out. And would love to see you guys on Twitch if you haven't already followed on Twitch. Definitely go over and follow on Twitch. We're trying to hit 3K followers, and I think we could definitely do that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great night. Peace.